Hello everyone, today we're going to be walking you through setting up your Perception Around Studio transceiver. This is the first thing you have to do to make sure your transceiver is properly detected inside of the Axis Studio software. Without doing this, it may not show up and you won't be able to do any mocap. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in our Perception Around Studio transceiver, get one in each kit, and we're going to be connected via USB. So I have my cable here and I'm going to make sure I am putting it into the, right port, into the correct port. I can see that the color is red, which means it is detected. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna visit my control panel and I'm gonna go ahead and click there. Now we're gonna go to the network and internet settings followed by the network and sharing center. Now we're gonna go to the change adapter settings and we're going to be looking for remote NDIS. I'm going to double click that, which brings us to our properties tab. I'm going to look for the IPv4 settings and double click here. And by default, your transceiver is not set to any specific IP address. What we're going to do is we're going to change this to a specified IP address, which you can find in the manual. It is 192.168.1 dot 200 and uh, we're going to make sure our subnet shows up in the bottom just by clicking tab now i'm going to go ahead and click ok to confirm the settings and click ok here just to make sure i'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything went through properly so i'm going to go ahead and click uh, to double check and i can see that everything is set to the correct ip address now, one of the great things about Perception on Studio is that you do have the ability to do mesh networking. By default, you're going to start at 200, but as you add more transceivers, you can click, go to 201, 202, 203, so on and so forth. Now, for more details on connecting your transceivers and for more mesh networking, uh, make sure to visit our manual that you can find online. I'm going to go ahead and close out all these tabs here and go to our Access Studio software. I'm going to select on a project. You can create your own, doesn't matter. And I'm going to go to my capturing settings. Now, uh, you're, I can already see that my transceiver is connected and it shows up on the uh, device list. This is important and this is great. That means that I am on channel one and you're going to be able to actually see that because our transceiver has a little green icon. If your transceiver does not show up, you can always go to the main menu go to settings and we're going to go to device here on the device details. There's the network option. That is the network that you're currently on via Wi-Fi, and the network that is for the transceiver. For example, if I am on my local uh, Wi-Fi settings and I click OK, the transceiver disappears. It's OK. What you're going to do is go back to that main menu, click settings, device, network settings and go to the subnet that we had selected for the transceiver and it repopulates here on the device list. Those are the steps to connect your Perception Around Studio transceiver.